you know how to use an inequality to solve a real-world problem? Take a look at this one involving a rectangular pool. The width of this rectangular pool is 24 feet. What must the length be so that the perimeter of the pool will be equal to at least 228 feet? Let's take a look at how to solve this problem. Now first, we know that the width this area here is 24 feet. Let's write that down. We don't know the length. We put an x there and we can put an x there. And we know that the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. However, in this case, we're not going to use an equal sign. We're going to use an inequality symbol because we want the perimeter to be equal to at least 228 feet. Let's write an inequality using the given information. Here's our pool up here in the corner. First, we have 24 plus 24, the two widths, plus the length, plus the length, our unknowns, is greater than or equal to 228 feet. Let's write that again down here. We have 24 plus 24 plus x plus x is greater than or equal to 228 feet. And we used greater than or equal to because we want the perimeter of the pool to be at least 228 feet. So that means it could be 228 feet or more. We can write or more here. Now let's combine like terms so we can solve this inequality. Here's our inequality once again. 28 plus 28 is 48 plus x plus x which is 2x is greater than or equal to 228. Now we can subtract 48 from both sides. These cancel bring down the 2x. 2x is greater than or equal to 180. Divide both sides by 2. x is greater than or equal to 90 feet. So the length of the pool must be greater than or equal to 90 feet to have this work. This is the solution to our problem. Now let's go back and look at the diagram of the pool once again. Here's a different diagram, but it still shows a rectangular pool. So again, the width is 24 feet. We know that. And we can say that if the length is at least 90 feet, then the perimeter will also be at least 228 feet. This is our solution, and our work is complete.